I'm dressed out today because it's a chill day where we'll be making vision boards and I'll literally be rolling up my sleeves. Let's have some fun. Vision boards help you get clear on what you want to manifest and magnetize positive energy into your life by helping you set intentions. Does that sound familiar? Intentions? That's my keyword in feng shui. Nothing happens without a very, very strong intention. Today, we're diving into the world of feng shui and manifestation with a step-by-step -step tutorial to create your own feng shui vision board. Get ready to bring positive energy and alignment into your life. Keep watching till the end and I'll give you a feng shui tip on how to take your vision board to the next level. Let's get started. I'm Susan Chan, certified feng shui consultant, helping you create a beautiful and intentional space and a beautiful and intentional life. If you want to learn about all things feng shui related, set in the beautiful city of Paris, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for alerts for when I publish new videos on living an intentional feng shui life. Whether you're new to feng shui or a seasoned pro, making a vision board will help you set your intentions, visualize and manifest your goals. Preparation is key. Now is the opportune moment to channel your energy towards positive energy for 20 24. Just make sure you watch this video once before you start or even twice all the way through the end before you do anything. It's like a recipe. It's important to understand the concept and process first before you start. Here are the five steps to create your feng shui vision board. Step number one, gather your supplies. You'll need a poster board or foam core, magazines, scissors, glue, pens, paper, colored markers. And feel free to include any personal items like photos, small crystals, or other meaningful objects. Step number two, set your intention. Before you begin, take a moment to reflect on your intentions for the wood dragon year. Remember when I said, ideally you wanna focus on one project or intention? If you missed that video, you can watch it here. What areas of your life would you like to enhance? Love, career, maybe health? Setting clear intentions is the first step in manifesting positive energy. Step number three, incorporate feng shui. Of course, here's where my vision boards are different. We incorporate the bagua or the feng shui compass into your vision board. It's divided into nine sections, which are nine sections of your life. Using a pencil or a marker, draw lines to divide your board into nine squares that mimic the bagua, and then write down the nine feng shui sections on your board. While you're writing down each section, think about your intention for each section of your life. Step number four, start creating. Flip through magazines or look for images online that match your intention. Whether it's a dream home, a fulfilling career, or a healthy lifestyle, choose images that bring up positive emotions for you and cut out those images and words that inspire you. Always cut out more than you need. Follow your gut, just have fun. The words and the images should light you up. You don't have to use all of it, but make sure you have enough. You can also gather your own items to personalize your board. And it doesn't just need to be paper. It could be fabric, it could be materials, anything that you want. If these items are a little heavier, you can use a glue gun. Now arrange all these items on your board. And if they don't fit in a specific section, don't worry, just do the best that you can. This is supposed to be a stress-free and fun process. Step number five, arrange and glue. Now comes the fun part, arranging your images on your board. Be mindful of the arrangement and the layout, allow yourself to be inspired and guided in where you put your photos and items. When you're happy with where everything is on your board, take a picture of your board with the images on top. This will serve as your loose reference for when you start gluing things down. Believe me, you'll thank me. Remove all the images from your board and start gluing down the images one by one. As you glue down each image, visualize your intentions coming to life. If your board doesn't match that photo that you took exactly, don't worry. You're being led by your intention and what is supposed to be created is happening. So that's it, congratulations. You just created your own feng shui vision board. Give yourself a pat on the back and maybe do even a little happy feng shui dance. And now take that vision board and place it somewhere in your home where you will see it all the time. Because when you see your vision board, you will remember your intentions. And remember to regularly spend time looking at your board because that will fire up the intentions. And here's that bonus tip. Create a theme for the year of the dragon. Your theme is your big intention for the year. I recommend that your theme be two words, an adjective and a noun. Examples are easy abundance, joyful visibility, satisfying relationships, radiant health, I call this the mission statement of your year because as large companies do, anything that you choose to focus on this year must pass through your theme or your mission statement. If the activity doesn't support your activity or theme of the year, say no or save it for later. The best way to come up with a theme is to match it with your Chinese astrology for the year as your astrology will tell you the best things to focus on so that you can have an optimal year. And because the energy of the year will be supporting you to do these things, it will feel easier. 
If you enjoy this feng shui vision board tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your manifestation journey with us. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity.